secret. That more and more became clear. At whatever cost to himself, whatever pain to others. Perhaps you'll come out of your daydream long enough to be able to tell us, won't you, Paul? It is what we now call the Hudson River. And? He thought it was the Northwest Passage. He was disappointed. Thank you. see through the accompaniment or counterpoint of snow, the items of mere externality on his way. further on, which was already assuming a sharper importance. He knew what he was going to look at next. It was his own house, his own little hill street, his silent, his secret snow. It was just above the seventh house, his own house, that the postman had first been audible. The knock he had heard must have been the knock on his own door. The realization gave him abruptly, and even a little frighteningly, a sense of hurry. He was being hurried. He was being rushed. Did it mean, and this was an idea which gave him an extraordinary sense of surprise, that he would never hear the postman again? Was it all going to happen at the end so suddenly? Or indeed, had it already happened? Uh... After supper, the Inquisition began. And now take it slowly and, and uh, hold it if you can. Uh... How silly all this was. As if it had anything to do with his throat or his heart, or lungs. Now, Paul, I just want you to read this, as you, as you naturally would. And another praise have I to tell, for this the city, our mother, the gift of the great God, a glory of the land most high, the might of horses, the might of the sea. No, there's no sign of superficial eye strain at all. We could have his eyes examined. But I believe it's something else. Even here, even among these hostile presences, the snow was waiting, out of sight, with an air that said, Wait, Paul, just wait. Is there anything that worries you very much? Oh, no, I think not. Are you quite sure? You needn't answer at once, Paul. Remember, we're trying to help you. Think it over and be quite sure, won't you? Wait, Paul. Just wait till we're alone together. Then I will tell you something new, something cold, something sleepy, something of seas and peace and the long, bright curve of space. Banish them. Refuse to speak. Leave them. Go upstairs to your room. I will be waiting for you. 
I will tell you a story better than the snow ghost. I will surround your bed, close the windows, pile a deep drift against the door so that none will ever again be able to enter. Speak to them. I'm just thinking, thinking. But my dear, about what? About what? Yes, Paul, about what? Anything. <laughs> Paul, you're making this very painful for your mother. What are you thinking about? About the snow. What on earth? My dear, what do you mean? Just snow, that's all. I like to think about it. Tell us about it, my boy. That's all there is. There's nothing to tell. You know what snow is. Hurry, Paul, hurry, these last few precious hours. Mother, can I go to bed now? Please, I have a headache. Please. <laughs> Cool. 